fusion is when you take two atoms and you can merge them into one atom. And that's different than forming a molecule, which is a much lower energy process. Forming a new atom out of two separate atoms releases a tremendous amount of energy. Louis Terminello is an associate lab director at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. He calls the latest discovery in fusion a milestone. Achieving this milestone and where they got more energy out from the laser energy that they put into fusing these atoms into single atoms uh, is actually has the potential of becoming a way of producing cleaner energy in the future. The Department of Energy made the discovery official this afternoon. Ignition allows us to replicate for the first time certain conditions that are found only in the stars and the sun. U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm says it's an effort that's 60 years in the making. Terminello worked at the Livermore Lab in California for 18 years and says it's exciting to know his former colleagues are on the frontier of this discovery. Been dedicated for decades in trying to achieve the conditions necessary for fusing atoms into single atoms. Now, the lab in California just used one method to get this net gain. Terminello says many labs and private entities have been working on the same result with different approaches. While the discovery was made thousands of miles away, it does have an effect on other labs like PNNL. We're focused on the new materials that you have to create to sustain the the apparatus for being able to create the conditions for achieving fusion. And on the topic of clean energy, it could be decades before fusion is used or replaces fossil fuels. We're a long way from being able to achieve a power plant that relies on fusion energy. The technology needed for developing a power plant of the future is going to rely on other technologies that probably still have to be invented.